Okay guys, Assalamu Alaikum. We are here for fishing today, trout, trout fish. And one of the things which fishing teaches us is sabr, lots of sabr. You have to wait patiently for the fish to come. And I think you'll implement on the ayah, Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Allah's help is with the ones who have patience. So we'll do some sabr and the help will come inshallah about fish. And in Quran, Allah mentions fish five places in Quran. Once we catch the fish, inshallah, uh, I'm going to mention to you the places in Quran where Allah has mentioned about fish. Okay, folks, today we are going to do fishing at Birds Fishing in Stouffville, which church? So, Birds Fishing right here, and these are their entrance charges. Again on Stouffville and Witch Church. You can Google it also. Birds, family fishing. What days are you open on? Uh, weekends. Weekends? Yeah. And weekdays? You have to um, email and book? Or, and what about emailing and booking? Yeah. Through right. email? What's that? Is it through email we can book on weekdays? That's correct, yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, you want to stay here? You get this. Home? They give you worms. To catch the no, fish. Just put the other ones, please. Someone will fix it. Yeah. Are they alive? Right? Okay, so we saw the um, the fishing price. But once you catch the fish, this is the price you have to pay on your way out per kg for the trout fish. Remember, it's trout fish, and they charge you per kg on your way out. This is a beautiful place. We're going to go find our own spot and then start fishing. So I'm going to be fishing with my little one right here. My little Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim. He's very excited to do fishing today. Okay, I don't like this part, but it, it's, it feels a little thing, but we have to do it. Ibrahim, do you want to help me? No? Okay, I don't know how to pick this. Cameraman, come closer. I want to show you something. Uh, these are the worms. You pick them up like this, eesh, right here. Look at this. Ah. <laughs> and they move, so it, it feels very creepy to put them on it. But they're, and they're alive, they're alive, if you want to see them. Previously, my wife used to help me, and she's making this video right now, and she doesn't want to help me today. So I have to do this myself, and I'm requesting her to help me, help me. She's like, no, I'm not feeling good today. I have to do this myself. So I convinced my dear lovely wife and she's going to do this for me now, breaking it into half. There you go, you see this? She's a brave, brave, brave lady, oh alhamdulillah, who dancing, always helps me, life saver. I just don't like that gooey part. And there you go. Look at the worm moving right here. You see this? So it's very important to tie the worm right here. Look at this. Look at the way it's tied. See it's moving. Now I'm going to throw it with my son in the water. Are you ready? One, two, three. There you go. Now, what we have to do is just wait. Do some sabr. Have some patience. And then victory is our, ours inshallah. And I'm going to mention to you five places in the Quran where Allah mentions in regards to fish. So we're just waiting right now. Many people are waiting. While we're having sabr, lots of sabr, so I want, I'll mention to you the places Allah mentions um, fish in the Quran. The first place Allah mentions is that in Quran. Second place Allah mentions where Musa alayhi salam and Khizr alayhi salatu wasalam story in Surah Kahf. 
Another place Allah mentions, فَإِنِّي نَسِيتُ الْحُوتُ وَمَا أَنْسَانِهُ إِلَّا الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ أَذْكُرَ And the fourth place Allah mentions in Quran, فَالْتَقَمَهُ الْحُوتُ وَهُوَ مُلِيمُ And the last place where Allah mentions about fish in Quran is, فَاصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكَ وَلَا تَكُنْ كَصَاحِبِ الْحُوتُ إِذْ نَادَ وَهُوَ مَكْبُمُ So these are five places in Quran where Allah mentions about fish. Uh, it's related to um, Yunus alayhi salatu was salam, the stomach of the whale. Musa alayhi salatu was salam with, um, sorry, not Khizr alayhi salam, with his khadim, uh, Yusha' bin Noon, when they were in the ship and Allah gave them indication that they will find a fish and that will be one of the signs of meeting Khizr alayhi salatu was salam. Another place, the sixth place uh, in Quran, Allah mentions, أُحِلَّ لَكُمْ صَيْدُ الْبَحْرِ وَتَعَامُهُ مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِلْسَيَّارَةِ In the seventh para, that um, Allah has made the animals, uh, the creatures of sea, of the ocean halal for us. So that's an indication obviously towards fish. And I've mentioned in my video how to cook shrimp biryani uh, about the ikhtilaf of, uh, in regards to other creatures of the ocean. So these are five plus one. أُحِلَّ لَكُمْ صَيْدُ الْبَحْرِ وَتَعَامُهُ مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِلسَّيَّارَةِ So remember these ayahs and find out where they are in Quran insha'Allah and post it on our YouTube, the Juz and the Surah. Bring it closer. There we go. Thank you. You could just put your back on. There might be hooks in it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it out. Oh, it's so slippery. One second here. That was so fast. It's so cool. You want to go cool? Right, so we're already home and this is the fish they cut the head for us and it's all open right now here so we're gonna marinate it with uh, this is the masala it's simple recipe we're gonna put it in the oven it's a mixture of turmeric salt sugar black pepper and a little bit of mango powder in it and I just bought mango powder from the market the rest spices are all mine and we've just blended it and um, just to make save some time and some olive oil a little bit of butter that's all so i'm going to take this olive oil right now to so making the marination i've added olive oil and i'm adding um uh, some butter to it now right here melted butter it'll melt itself olive oil and people just won't have that extra fat fatty taste and now you mix it mix the spices with the so I'm gonna make some slits because when we marinate it, so the marination is like you know it gets deeper. Easy and simple. So you know um, it's more fun eating when you catch something and you know you see the results of your effort. And um, this is the inside. If you want to cut this part inside more, you can cut it. I don't cut it. Uh, this part we will marinate it, the rest will leave the original taste of the fish. Right here. My oven is already on. It's an air fryer, so healthy style. I think this is the best investment I've ever done. My wife says the same thing. The air fryer is worth. You can get french fries. You can make so many things without oil. No need for oil inside. 
I'm gonna turn it the other way now. Put some masala in here. Okay, so you can see this marination right here. It's with masala, olive oil, and butter. If you want it nice and spicy, this is what it is. You can already see it coming through the slits here. And you can fill the slits also if you want to. Inside. So I've wrapped the fish up. This is the air fryer. I've set the temperature to 170. I'll increase it to um, 350 Fahrenheit. And right here, it's a little small, but it'll fit. The tail might be out. And there we go. Leave it in for 25 minutes. Okay, it's done. It was 25 minutes. I freshened up also, alhamdulillah, and took a shower. So we're gonna take this out. Right here in front of you on this plate. Bismillah, bismillah. Ooh, it's coming hot. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Look at this. Just look at this. I'm gonna get a knife right here. And we're gonna cut this out. Oh, trout. This is the trout. Long day today. <clears throat> Went fishing with family. Caught a trout fish. Came back home and marinated it. Baked it in the air fryer with healthy fries, topped with peri-peri sauce, right here. So I'm gonna try it now. And you can see all this masala. This has a small bones, but I'm very hungry today because I haven't eaten anything. And um, right here, mm-hmm. Amazing trout. And these fries are also baked, for your information. Mm -hmm. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. In the meantime, let me enjoy my fish and chips. Assalamu alaikum.